A robot that can be worn. Put it on like a vest. You can move as light as a swallow. It's called exoskeleton robot, aiming to assist the human movement with an external force. Together. <laughs> this is impossible for me without the exoskeleton. The one on my back from a Chinese company has already been presented in many scenarios. Manufacturing, logistics, sports rehabilitation, military industry, even as a sci-fi configuration of the wandering earth. No wonder it has caught the attention of overseas market. A few months ago, a Thai factory had placed an order. สวัสดีค่ะ We have the raw material process, right? We have the heavy material for movement. So our people have limitation. That's why we will find this product for the support our factory. But what if it's so strong? It's too strong than yourself. Mm -hmm. Because it really? uh, depend on adjust. Ah, uh, you can control it yeah. over here. Okay. People in manufacturing industries need to repeat this action thousands of times a day. The probability of lumbar muscle strain and shoulder and back injury exceeds 20% in the United States and over 50% in China. People with labor injuries can be as young as 25 years old. After the birth of exoskeleton robots, companies only need to make a trade-off between tens of billions of dollars in work-related injury insurance and the cost of purchasing robots. Just a glance at the grand occasion during the Beijing Robot Conference, I know how interested people are in this new technology. There是大量的这种体力岗位，它没有办法说有这种专用的设备或者自动化，只能靠人。然后现在重体力岗位非常难找，干活的很多都是年龄偏大的，所以我们也是希望借助外部的机器人去给到他们赋能，能够让他们可